a sensor we're going to explore today are tilt sensors. As always, let's talk about how human tilt sensors work first and then use that as a guide for how we can get robots to use tilt sensors as well. Human tilt sensors are called our vestibular sense. These vestibular sensors are located in our inner ears. An easy way to think about these sensors are like this. Little containers half filled with water. Let's use this as an example. As we move our head in different directions, you can see that the water is always pointing to the direction of the ground. On the insides of these little containers in our inner ears are little hairs that send information to our brain about the direction and movements of the water inside our inner ears. Our brain, the controller, provides us with a sense of direction and also the movements that our head is making. This is why when we spin around and suddenly stop, we feel dizzy. Our inner ear is telling our brain that we are still moving because the water in our inner ears is still sloshing around. But our eyes are telling our brain that we're staying still. And this confusion between the two senses gives us the sense of dizziness. Our brain is confused. It doesn't know which sense to believe. Now that we know how human tilt sensors work, when creating tilt sensors for robots, we can use a similar idea. Instead of using a container with water inside, which for a robot sounds like a very bad idea, robots can still use a container, but with a ball attached to a string from the top instead. Similar to this. As the robot moves, the ball will hit the inside of the container at different points. This information is sent to the controller of the robot and the robot will then be able to know which direction it's facing. And it can do this in three different dimensions. And these are called the pitch, yaw and roll, which we will look at later in this chapter. I want you all to try activity one. 